Good day, it's time for my weekly OEA update. Uh, and these are very trying times, unprecedented in many ways. And like you, I'm working from home, uh, but I wanted to give you uh, an update on some important issues and begin first by telling you just how much I appreciate all that I'm seeing our members from across the state of Ohio doing to support students, be creative in that work, uh, to provide support for families and parents, uh, and really stand up and support one another. I've seen our members serving meals to students. I've seen people uh, really showing extraordinary compassion for one another. Uh, just today, I got an email from a local president uh, who's comes from a relatively affluent community, but uh, she and her members wanted to do something financially to support uh, neighboring students. And so they were looking for some connections on how to do that. Uh, it's so impressive. And even though we're social distancing, uh, we're finding ways to stay connected to one another through some really difficult times. So I thank you for all that you're doing. Uh, wanted to let you know that uh, the legislature is coming into session this week and we have a number of priorities, things that we're asking them to, uh, to do uh, to help us get through this crisis. Number one, uh, we are asking that the legislature uh, do what Governor DeWine has recommended, and that is suspend testing altogether for this year. Uh, along with that, we wanna make sure that the legislature holds harmless schools and educators and students for any negative consequences of not having testing. Uh, and so that means addressing issues like report cards and graduation requirements, uh, the third grade reading guarantee, teacher evaluation, all of those things, we wanna make sure that there is no harm uh, for not having tests. Uh, secondly, we wanna see extension of some deadlines related to things like licensure requirements, make sure that we're paying attention to the needs of our aspiring educators who are just finishing up or we're gonna be finishing up their student teaching so that they can still uh, get out and get jobs complete their, their program successfully. Uh, given the financial circumstances, we're also continuing to uh, ring the bell to make sure that we do not see an expansion in ed choice vouchers. Uh, school districts are gonna be under immense uh, financial pressure. Uh, we wanna make sure that that um, challenge isn't exacerbated by a lot of taxpayer dollars going to private school tuition. And finally, we do wanna see that uh, the primary election be scheduled in a way for schools that have levies on the ballot to know those results so that they can make decisions uh, regarding staffing and budget for next year uh, without having to wait until the middle of June to do that. So those are the things that we're doing. We're gonna be uh, communicating with all of you for ways that you can stay engaged with your legislators uh, to push those priorities. Over the weekend, our OEA board of directors uh, came together virtually uh, and had a long and very productive meeting, uh, took a whole series of actions, uh, but I wanna highlight just two of them. One is the board voted to authorize the officers to postpone uh, and call a special session of the representative assembly if needed. Uh, we are getting close to a decision and we're gonna continue to monitor events, but we are looking at the possibility of a virtual RA with a limited agenda uh, to do the things that we absolutely have to get done. Uh, the other thing that the board voted to do was rescind a $20 surcharge on the Uniserve fee, uh, which had been put in place in the early 2000s uh, during a time of financial crisis for OEA. Uh, good news for OEA is that we are in very strong financial position. The board determined that we do not need that extra $20 uh, anymore. And so along with a slight adjustment in the average teacher salary calculation, it means that overall dues next year for OEA are gonna be going down $29 uh, per person for full-time numbers. Um, so uh, be on the lookout for uh, written information with, with additional information from the board, but I wanna express my appreciation to them for their hard work. Uh, I wanna thank all of you for tuning in, uh, not just now, but in previous weeks. Uh, it is clear that people are really thirsting for information. Uh, if you're like me, you're probably uh, watching what the governor has to say every day at two o'clock. Um, it's really important that we stay connected. And so we're looking at new ways, innovative ways that we can stay connected with one another, uh, be listening for more opportunities there. Finally, uh, as I bid farewell for this week, I just wanna ask you to keep yourself safe. Keep yourself healthy, 
continue to look out for each other, for your families, and for our students. Thank you.